Now, every route here will get open. The RB route will be man, the A route will be zone, but the B receiver is going to be both. When that flat route pulls that flat defender down and that in route holds the zone defender over the middle of the field, he's just going to be open in the middle every single time, whether the coverage is man or zone. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable muck coins, check out my sponsor at MOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The is here. Welcome back, money team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snipping out the college cheese as always. A couple of weeks ago, I put out a video that did very well where it was basically the top four most unstoppable RPO and, you know, trick style run plays in college football 25. So I want to do a follow-up to that. In today's video, though, I'm going to focus on passing concepts. Passing plays that need no adjustments that beat every single defense in the game man or zone uh, but before i do if you guys want to see more videos like this please make sure to be a subscriber here like button let me know in the comment section i'm going to start off with my alabama offensive ebook and i'm also going to show you guys plays out of my georgia offensive ebook so if you guys need more help or more money plays you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly sent by clicking links in the description or the top hand comment but before i do i want to show you guys that this entire video is going to be going against the buckeyes defense which is the best defense in the entire game and i also want to show you guys that this is on heisman difficulty which is the difficulty that typically learns what you're doing as you play but since i'm going to show you guys plays that are unstoppable it's not going to matter the first play i'm going to show you guys is out of my alabama offensive ebook and the formation is the gun bunch open offset like i said in this video there's a lot of plays in this formation that could qualify for this video based on the fact that there's a lot of really good concepts but the play that i'm going to show first that's probably the best is going to be the dig return this particular play here has a route concept set up that basically allows for this red zig route to get open every single time whether it gets man or zone and you're going to see how I'm basically just going to run this play the entire length of the field. Now, every route here will get open. The RB route will be man, the A route will be zone, but the B receiver is going to be both. As the RB route is going to pull back coverage a lot of times, and any flat defenders will chase the actual flat route, leaving a lot of space for the B receiver against zone every single time. As you can see right here, it almost works like a slant or a curl route sometimes against zone. You just want to make sure that you run to the open side of the field, because against man coverage, he's going to have to run to the outside, and that's going to make what makes him get open open against that particular coverage. Aside from poor timing, as you see right there, I might have threw it a little bit early, but we still completed the pass. As you're gonna see here that this looks like a man coverage, so I know that even though it's not, and it's an actual zone, that I just have to hold that ball until I see spaces. He'll get it every single time. But since there's no natural defense for this route setup, this is gonna be something where your opponent, if you're playing against a live opponent, is most likely going to try to uh, use this area. So just be aware of that. Although if they do use this area, like I said, the other receivers will get open as well, just as long as you can see the difference between man and zone. So before the play starts, I'm just staring at this bunch every single time. You can see here, the flat defender dropped down, so I throw it early, kind of like a slant route. And this here looks like we might have our first actual man look. So this particular bunch setup, just as long as he doesn't get caught up too much, you can see how I can catch that and run to the outside, as this is the reason you're going to want to run to the open side of the field every single time. As this play can be much more damaging against man coverage, as it looks like we might have that again, and we do, as we're going to get an easy touchdown here, as we get just right down the field in about five to seven plays as a very easy concept to use against man or zone. And I didn't even have to throw to any of the other receivers. Now, there is another play in this formation that I showed in my previous video called the RPO Read Bubble, which was really focusing more on RPO plays. So if you guys want to see that, I'll have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. So stick around for that. Next up, I'm going to show you guys two plays out of my Georgia offensive ebook, both of which are in the exact same formation. But the first play you can really find in just about any formation in the game. I'm going to be in the gun dudes close but the play that i'm going to show you guys is something that's a concept that has really found a lot of different formations that's basically going to be the mesh double drags now the mesh spot here is going to be the best play from this formation and i'm also going to show you guys another play that'll work really well with this so let's go and let's pick that this play here is a must and you really only have to worry about the drags and the b receiver who's basically on like a comeback over the middle of the field as the other routes are really just dressing that are meant to basically pull back coverages and you can see here this guy gets open underneath the zones very easily which is the point of this play these drag routes will beat man and they'll also beat zone the only time you're going to want to try to hit anything other than the drag route is if your opponent's in some sort of hard flat coverage or maybe the uh the linebacker leaves the middle of the field which is something that you'll typically see more against a user but there you can see how pressure was a concern i'm trying to do this in a way that i don't make any actual adjustments but in reality i could block the running back if i wanted to if i felt like the pressure was too bad as you can see right there that's a man coverage that route still beats it but just like any 
play. The only thing that can really stop this play is weird animations like that, where the player just runs into something. But here you can see, once again, very easy play, as it looked like we almost had a chance to score there if the tight end was a little bit faster. But this concept or this play is something that I could call at any point in time where I need to play. It doesn't matter what it is, even if it's like a, a long distance situation, because you can get such an easy catch and run. If you need 10 yards, if it's third and 10, you could call a play like this and get it just about every single time. Now here, like I said, I could probably throw the running back from time to time. As you can see, it turns into a blocker and gets me down to the uh, inside the five. Uh, the running back actually gets open really well against cover one man, but I'm not going to you know go that far. I'm just going to show you guys how easy it is to run this particular play as we get sacked, but that's fine. Like I said, I'll, I'll pick that up with no problem. We need 11 yards. We still got a couple downs to do that. This is a very easy play to get that done. Like I said, I'm not too worried about the length of the field because the way these guys pull back, you'll see how we can get this from just about anywhere. But that's not the only play from this formation that's really hard to stop based on the fact that I already put out the halfback swing in the first video from the same formation as this is also a play that beats manners on but like i said once again more of an rpo style play and the last play i'm going to show you guys from this formation is the bench swap as this also beats any manner zone the game so we're going to pick that the way this play works is the y receiver really beats any manner zone and the running back beats zone so what i'm going to say to make it easier is left side beats man right side beats zone it's really that simple the comeback route that the tight ends running over the middle too will also get open against any manner zone but we're going to make this a really easy read of just reading whether it's manner zone if it's zone coverage which is basically what i'm going to be watching for the running back is this wide open underneath for catch and run if it's a man coverage i'm going to be watching for the tight end but like i said the tight end you don't even have to make a good read the Titans going to get open anyway, but whatever, uh, you know, route you think is going to be the play, you want to typically run to the open side of the field because that's going to be, um, you know, where you get the most catch and run space. So just be aware of that. So if I think it's a zone coverage, I want to have the running back to the open side. If I think it's a man coverage, I want to have the tight end to the other side. As you can see right there, that actually looked like it might have been a zone. But like I said, even if you make a poor read, the Titans are going to be open every single time regardless. So on this next play here, like I said, this looks like a zone. Um, but I don't have to force it to the running back. I pretty much watch as we get a man coverage there and it looks like he didn't catch it, but that's pretty much gonna be the only thing that can stop you. The sidelines would stop that play. If I don't know what it is, I might as well just flip it. Cause like I said, we already discovered that the tight end can be either or. So I'm just gonna watch the running back at the start of the play. If he gets space, I'm just gonna check it down to him. You can see that drop did cost us as we get to a fourth and one, but I have no concern that we're gonna pick this up. So we're just gonna go right back to this. And like I said, we'll just make sure that the tight end is to the open side because he's the safest route. And he's gonna get open against anything regardless. And they came on a blitz. So we get a very easy pickup of a first down there. I would say though, that would be better to have a little bit of a faster tight end so I can get a little bit bigger catch and runs as that's going to be really the biggest issue is he's just not very fast but you can see he does have the ability to break tackles so that's all that matters both of these outside corner routes are really just pull routes this here looks like the running back's going to get some play underneath once again as i'm not really getting much to the running back i probably get more to the tight end but it's still an important part of the read structure so on this next play here we're probably going to switch it up although this looks like it's probably a zone once again this formation makes it really easy to read whether it's man or zone based on the fact that it's so condensed so you're going to know right away based off the fact that the cornerbacks are going to have to be aligned for a man coverage as you can see here we get that man coverage on the linebacker and if it wasn't for that bad throw we probably would have scored as the only thing that could really stop this play is the sideline or the clock as you can see on this play here we're almost to halftime so we're just gonna have to punch this in to end this game as this guy's trying his damnedest to get in there no big deal though is he'll get open eventually as we get one more man coverage and that's just like stealing as we score again with no problems at all last but not least i'm going to revisit an offense out of byu which is a formation that i was using in gameplay about a month or so ago out of the gun spread flex this formation has a lot of really good plays if you guys want to see gameplay when i use this i'll have that pop up on the screen at the end of the video as well uh, but the play i'm going to show you guys is the inside cross this is very similar to the double drags but i feel like the running back is a much better route and the in route as well is also a very good check down so let's go and let's pick that this play is pretty simple as you really have three routes to beat man or zone the drag the running back and the tight end on a play like this it looks like an obvious man zero blitz so we're just going to wait for that tight end to come open over the middle as you really just have to watch which way the zones fade and this is pretty much the play is we're going to read the drags first if the zones drop down a lot of times we'll take the uh, tight end over the middle but we're really just reading high low here the main difference to me is the running back is i find it's one of the better routes but we also have a tight end here that's a very good play as well the drag though is probably going to be the biggest catch and run play as you can see we get close to 20 yards there 
And that's pretty much all I'm reading is the breaking in routes. I have three levels of passing over the middle. I'm just going to make a determination based off of which one of these I see best. But the drag is probably the best because the tight end pulls back the coverage once again, just like a previous play. And you also have really good pull routes to the outside, guaranteeing you space pretty much any time that you run this play. As it looks like we have a potential zero blitz candidate here. And on a play like this, I really should have just about any route. As we hit the running back to finish the drive and the video, I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more about these offenses that I used in gameplay, that pop up on my screen as well as the previous RPO video that I made from this series. If you want to see more videos, just like hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than thanks for watching, man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.